is that you should have select some visual aid that is appropriate for the message that you want to convey. What it also suggests is that you use more than one visual aid. So I saw you are very comfortable with your presentation. I think because you're an IT person, you're very comfortable with using computer and using the projector. And I also noticed that you are not reading from the <coughs> screen, which is very good. But what I felt was that I'm not a computer person. I would love to start my own web page. I would love to design my own web page because I do use some Photoshop and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I was clueless. Where was I supposed to start? I don't know. I thought I missed out somewhere because maybe I was looking at some paper. So I asked other evaluators and others in the evaluation team. But I, then I realized they also missed out. They also could not figure out. So maybe because you have so much information in your head that you want to give out, what you did was you put in information maybe at a level a little bit lower than yours, but still not up to our level, not down to our level. So it's essential that you know what does do the audience know? What is the level of the audience? What is the interest of the audience? It's very essential to connect with the audience, which all you missed out on. If you had even brought handouts, then that could have been considered as second visuals that we could look at at least. Or you could have brought a pointer so that you could have pointed at the places. You were saying on the left, on the right, I was trying to figure out where on the left, where on the right. It was quite confusing. I would say that if you really want to go ahead, then it would be really nice if you practice this once more. 